We're looking at mock suppressors on this episode of The Gear Guide. So you know there's a lot of ways to extend your inner barrel on your AEG, but we have our personal favorite here, and that personal favorite is by using a barrel extension or a mock suppressor like this one here. So we're looking at the new licensed Knight's Armament Quick Detach Suppressor brought to you by Z-Shot. Actually, yeah, Z-Shot has actually secured the licensing for the Knight's Armament line. So we've already seen the suppressors. They also have some rails out there as well, and I'm sure we're gonna see some more. Now you may be looking at this going, well, you know, it doesn't really look like the Knight's Armament Suppressor I'm used to. It kind of does because of the very familiar waffle pattern, but this is the newest version. In fact, you really don't even see these in the wild out on real firearms quite yet because it is so new. But you're probably familiar with the older style Knight's Armament Suppressor that is famous and you'll see them on SEAL kits, you see them in Special Forces teams, all over the internet. But what we like about this one is they've taken the design a step further and made this thing really easy to get on and off. So how it's built is you not only get the suppressor here, but you get this fantastic steel three-prong flash hider on here. And this thing is so cool. It's got the nice armaments trades on it. It's got this fantastic detailing. And if you notice, it's got these little divots around the outside. Now those divots are not just for good looks. They actually match up with a series of ball bearings inside the suppressor collar here to lock this thing on securely. So to put it on, you simply pull the collar up, slide it over top and give it a twist till those ball bearings match those holes and then you are locked in there. This thing is going nowhere. It's locked in, it's rock solid, there's no wobble at all, but when it's ready to take it off, all you have to do is just take the collar and it comes right off. It really is that simple. And it's not just this three prong suppressor that looks good. Even on the end of the suppressor here, they add an additional and in the real one, this actually serves as a little bit of a, like a flash suppressor or a muzzle brake but on this one, on the Airsoft, you don't really need it, but that detail is so fantastic. And of course, no licensed products complete without the trademarks, and you get these fantastic Knight's Armaments trades right down the side that are etched in the metal. And the finish on this, speaking of the metal, looks so good. You know, in the past, we've seen some knockoff replicas of these things, and no one's really done the licensing right, but I tell you what, when Z-Shot got a hold of this, they really hit it out of the park. These things look great. Now, if there's only one negative on this, and it's not really a negative for us at all, is that the suppressor is beefy. It is kind of heavy because it's solid filled. They actually can't go with the foam here in the US. It's US requirements. ATF will not allow it. So to get ATF approval, they actually go with the solid fill core. So unfortunately, that adds a little weight to it. We don't mind at all. We love the feel and the build of this. And that build is around how robust this thing is. But some people may think, oh, it adds a little weight to the end of my rifle. To us, we don't care one bit. We just love how cool it looks. So bottom line, if you guys are in the market for a really cool suppressor setup for your airsoft gun to hide that inner barrel, or you know what, just get those neat looks, take a look at the new Knight's Armament QD suppressor. You can pick them up anywhere Z-Shot products are sold. And actually we got ours, compliments of Airsoft Barracks in Jacksonville, Florida. Big thanks to them for coming through on pulling this one out. So guys, what are your opinions on suppressors? Are they just extra weight on the end of your gun? Do they really serve a purpose? Or if you wanna make that barrel longer, you know what? Just add a longer barrel on the outside to put the inner barrel in. We wanna hear from you in the comments below. And that's it for this episode of the Gear Guide. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back next week. We turn a potato into a real functioning suppressor for your airsoft gun. No, no we're not. Don't believe it.